Hello fellow engineers, welcome back to Satisfactory. <laughs> I don't know if I call myself an engineer, but welcome back to Satisfactory. Welcome to this brand new world. If you did not see the last episode, it was launch day and I went and we have journey to a new world. So this world is different from the other world that we played on in the alpha test weekend. It's way more lush, way more rich with different things. And then there's also a barren world that we might play on as a kind of a challenge. And so this world though, we have uh, what I've been trying to do in this series so far is learn the game and then also now is make sure that I'm making things very very well and so I've got kind of my base of operations over in this area and then I've got some miners and things like that that run from different areas and it all leads to this nice little factory here and so this factory currently is set up to basically input the things that I need for the first few milestones that I'm doing this area over here is going to be my power plant. Eventually this will expand and get a lot bigger once we move into coal. And I made this in the, right at the end in the last episode where I was uh, re, uh, basically just constructing biofuel. And I, re and, I, and I had mentioned, I said, I don't know an easier way to do this to where I can actually uh, like just offload tons and tons of biomass into this thing to be able to pump it because you have to sit here and you have to like load it in as time goes on but I had the idea I bet I can take and make a storage container offload everything into the storage container and that will output into the uh, constructor and basically let's see sort store I'm assuming that's what I can do uh, because I have a constructor making biomass here and then this constructor makes biofuel and pumps it into the storage container. And so I'm assuming I can basically make uh, a storage unit unload into the first constructor and then do this process. So that's what I'm going to see if I can get going right now. And then we'll move on to uh, some of the new milestone stuff that we're trying to accomplish to aid in our journey. All right, let's see if this works. I have to imagine it's going to. It, it only makes sense that it would. So here's the conveyor belt going from this one into this one and the constructors are the only thing that makes my base look really uh, not very nice and it's because they are like one tile larger than the other ones okay then we got to run some power I'm really liking the base that I have established now which one let's see here those ones I think it's to this one don't want to make a mistake and shut everything down. I think it should be good now. Those are both going. Okay, so let's see. Uh, we need to set this up. Let's go. We're going to go biomass wood. And then we're going to go biofuel. Then let's see if I can offload. Let's see. All this wood into here. Aha! It works. Sweet. So now I can offload all of the different leaves and everything and then that is going to pump out the biofuel over here once I change that over. So great, that's going to be working and that's as pretty much as automated as I can get I believe. How's this going? Oh, you know what it did? It stopped taking the wood and it started taking the... Interesting. wonder why it did that. So there's going to be one up inside. Okay, let's just set this to uh, biomass leaves for a second. And then once that gets through there and that gets stopped, we'll change this. That's very interesting. I don't know why, uh, why wouldn't it take the thing in the first slot. You know what I mean? So we've got to kind of go through that. It's, that's very unfortunate. I was hoping that I wouldn't do that, but it is what it is. Okay, so I just did this alien carapace one, and it says I need to do it again, and I think I must be able to make armor with it if I keep researching it. So I actually have to go take out a couple more of them in order to be able to, like, research the next thing with this. But the interesting thing is, is that there's no slug in here. And I don't know if that's based on maybe I have to, like, level it up or something like that. Like, if I need to actually level the hub up in order to find those or if they're actually here but it makes me wonder if they're actually not in the game in this world that could be the case but 
I'm not 100% sure. So while that stuff's uh, going through and converting, because we're going to get that next month. Actually, it would be nice to just get a bunch of milestones all at once. I'm going to go explore a little bit. What's this? Limestone? Nice. Got some more limestone there. We're going to look for some fluffy-tailed hogs. <laughs> That's what they're called. Literally, that's what they're called. And uh, we need to take some more out in order to get some carapaces. Hey, there's one. Hello. Where, where are you? Oh, here he is. Come on down. Come come play. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's two of them. Okay. All right. I jumped a little. All right. That's never a good thing, having multiple ones here. As long as we don't run into the big one. That's that. I need that gun. So you can unlock a gun. And I need to get it. Come here! They, their turn time has been changed. There we go. So I need to get uh, 10 of those, I think. And so this could take a while. Ah, the slugs do exist. I... I, okay, I died in the cave and I found a slug, but I need to get him and I have to somehow run away from this thing As I don't oh, he's like he's like in a he's like in a cage of sorts. I died in a cave It was a toxic cave, so I have to gather berries to go back and get everything I need What we're going into a different looking area here. What are those things? This is weird. Yeah, so this place is this planet is definitely very dangerous, and uh, it's got all kinds of things, but it's it's also lacking in things as well. Like, it doesn't have nearly as many of those hog-tailed beasts that we... Hey, there's a slug over there. Nice. Well, at least we know that they exist, and now I just gotta get my stuff back and collect some more sluggies. Sluggy, sluggy slugs. Interesting. Crude oil just laying on the ground here. So that's something to look out for, a little black orb. We have a couple of those actually in barrels back at the base that I, I... I think I got from cutting down trees, right? That's when I got all that stuff. So it was definitely from when I cut down a bunch of trees. And so you must be able to get oil that way. Came in the cave to get this thing. And now you can't just pick it up. You have to actually hold down on it. Same with the slugs. Well, if I die this time, at least I'll be closer to the entrance of the cave. I think I can make it. Wow, okay, that was crazy. We made it though, and I got one of these new things. It's no longer, I don't think it's any like any longer a work in progress. It doesn't tell you what the uh, what it does though, which I guess we'll have to find. It's got to be for advanced technology, obviously, but uh, well, that plan is hanging in the tree. Pay no mind to the plan in the tree. All right, let's go get those slugs. Becoming a hog killer. Look at this. If you do it, you can actually take them out pretty quickly if you kind of jump them. Just got to hit them four times. It's way easier than the way I was doing it, trying to run around them. Yeah, now I'm getting tons of slugs too, man. We got this game now. I'm learning how to do everything. Okay, so I have researched. I got the milestone thing going off. And uh, I was able to find out, uh, like, be able to, like, make splitters and stuff, which is going to help me when I start, like, really changing things. Because, I mean, look at this. This, unless I overclock everything, which that's what I'm researching now with the, I found a yellow and a green slug. I'm researching these things now. Like, unless I overclock them, um, these are just backed up, you know, just kind of sitting here, not really operating at max potential. And so being able to overclock things and then set up, like, splitters and, you know, possibly utilize this iron and the other resources a little bit more quickly, that's going to definitely help in the long run. So having all that set up is going to, getting all that set up is going to be really nice. I've got so much concrete, like I can probably shut that down after a while because I, I, I mean, until I start building more things, I really don't need that much concrete. All right, so there is an option here. It looks like fabric, and the fabric a lot is uh, used for equipment crafting, flexible but durable fabric. So I bet you can make armor, which is going to be very nice, uh, especially against fighting some of these bigger things. Because some of the, the like the larger wild hog things, those things are crazy and extremely difficult to deal with. And so, and I need you know obviously I need better weapon. Actually, can this fit right here? I was going to check this earlier. 
better weaponry, obviously. Oh, the wires might be in the way. Oh, no. I was really hoping. Can't afford. Oh, no. I'm gonna have to find another location for this thing. Actually, might be able to do it up here. Uh, floor is too steep. I can, I can make a big, massive platform. Or over the water? Can't afford. I can do it right here over the water. Sweet! I'm glad I don't have to go too far away to do that. That's gonna be real nice. Okay, so I can make fabric. And, let's see, fabric. Uh, we need the mycelia and some leaves to make fabric. And so, I'm assuming that after we maybe unlock tier, tier 3 stuff? Object scanner, fabric, yeah. I'm assuming that that is what we need to do to make that? I don't know, I don't know. I already did that. So, uh, I think next we'll unlock maybe parts assembly or conveyor walls. Conveyor walls could be pretty cool if we start like making like multi-tier structures, which I might do, but not right now. And so let's do parts assembly because that's going to require quite a bit of materials. And we can make a lot of this cabling. We need a hundred. And so we should be good to go with this. Then I am pretty positive I've got the rest of the other stuff that I need too. So this is going, I'm glad that I went and I did some ex exploration because this is really make, has re that was perfect. It's really made this a lot easier uh, to like fly through these milestones. Also, we just, let's see, I got my slugs on me. We just did that, so this should be done now. Yeah, green slug. The crystals on this slug can be harvested and converted nice. into two power shards that function with current fix-it technology. Several buildings would be capable of performing over 100% capacity if infused. The derived blueprint is now accessible in the hub. In the hub. So, let's see. Where? Oh, it probably just came up now that I am done with it? No? Wasn't it in here before? The uh, shards, or is it in this thing? Equipment crafting. Nope. Where is it at? I thought it was... I thought I was in the crafting menu. Oh man, we uh, ha how many have we unlocked in this episode? And I haven't actually even been playing that long, which is even more amazing. So there we go, we just unlocked that. So now we have uh, rotor and modul modular frame in there. That's gonna be nice, we can make assemb the assembler, which will extend our, our power plant, and then we can start assembling different parts. Really like, what? There's not really many things I need to assemble right now in and of themselves. I think I can assemble these things. So if we pump out screws and iron rods, we can make rotors and modular flames. So we're gonna need a we're gonna need several new things. And so what I think I'll do is I'll split the conveyor from the iron and make multiple areas that do different things and we can just really make this more efficient. The only thing is is that this is gonna start consuming a lot of biofuel. To get this, to keep this up and running. So the sooner I can get coal up and running, the better. Um, man, this is still going through leaves. Oh my goodness, it's insane. It's been going for so long. So yeah, so this is the biggest problem. I've got. I'm gonna start having so many biomass things that I have to manage. And all of these. Where? So guys, I cannot find the power shards. Maybe I have to unlock the green one first. That's probably what it is. I probably have to research the green one first, and then I'll be able to do both of them. I'm assuming that's what it is. Because you usually don't find You find the green one first, and then you find the yellow. Because last time it was in here, wasn't it? And so I'm assuming it's going to pop up then. So how much longer do I have to wait on this? Oh, it's almost done. Oh, sweet. I found one of these things. I thought it was a slug, but it's a Mercer Sphere. Oh, this actually is still a work in progress. This is actually really cool coming up here. I had to jump across this ledge. Uh, let's see. It's like right here. I love, Dude, I love this game. It just keeps getting better and better. Right there. That was so cool. Jumping up away from the beastie beasts, which I came out to get more slugs so I can actually, you know, have enough to... Uh, see, that's what you do right there. Have enough to overclock a lot of things. And... Got a couple. 
and I got my skin my uh, carapace in you so I bet after I make that and research that I'll be able to make armor with that fabric that's my hope at least that's gonna be freaking sweet if I can whoa I found some massive waterfall area this is sweet there's some really like it's very subtle but the biome changes but there's like it starts having like these massive cliff areas Oh, that is so cool. Hey, there's my base right there. Oh, great. It's like right behind my base. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't even have known that was there unless I was... I just found tons... I found the holy grail of berries. Sweet, man. Okay, so that should be done. So now we should be able to make some shards. Get that up and running. I don't have any yellow ones. I only found one. And, uh, but that should be done now. So let's see if that does what I think it did. The crystals on this slug can be harvested and converted into a power shard that functions with current fix-it technology. Several buildings would be capable of performing over 100% What the heck? If infused. The derived blueprint is now accessible in the hub. No, it's not. It's not here. It doesn't say it's not... It's not here. Dude, what? Am I not able to make them? Craft bench. Look, I don't... There's nothing I can do. I just got the hub. Equipment workshop, which we've already got. Craft bench, we've already got that. That's built in here. Craft bench, right here. Built in. Equipment workshop, over here. Dude, what? I... Wait, what? Where is it? Why can't I make it? Am, am I just missing this? There's no way I'm just missing this. Um, what do I even work? Oh, yellow shards. Here we go. All right. So I have to. Oh, I have to overclock it here first. What? Okay, that didn't make sense. That's okay. At least we know where it is now. Why would you say the blueprint's available and then you have to actually? take it to the milestone maybe they did was it like that before i don't think it was i thought you had to i thought it was just there in your crafting bench but i don't know maybe that's how it's supposed to be or maybe that is how it is and i just totally misremembered that because or look at my making myself look like an idiot over here but at least we at least we found it and that's all that matters because i, I want to overclock things and i want to get the production going better all right there we go that's what i'm talking about send that off me make my shards there it is there we go all right sweet so we've got that done and now we're gonna be able to really get things going okay so let's figure this out here uh, I can't remember we got these miners and this stuff going off of this one and I think these ones are connected here so let me overclock these ones first and I think this is gonna Let's split the stack. Put one in here. Overclock that one. Put that in there. Or not. Overclock this one. Sweet. And then we'll work on getting more power shards as time goes on. But that's going to be very helpful. It should allow these things to operate a little bit better and start pumping things out quicker than, quicker than what they have been. Uh, let's just take a gander, shall we? Two seconds production time for for the limestone. Four seconds. Did that? Oh, that's the limestone. That's the iron. Okay. Is this two seconds too? Yeah. Okay. So, fifty percent efficiency. Oh, so now I can overclock. Yeah. Okay. So actually, I can overclock these. Um, I want to overclock the smelters, I think. Actually, I would like to overclock everything. So, we need a lot of freaking power shards. <laughs> Basically, I need to go slug hunting. And slug hunting for a long time. Because there are not as many as the other one, as the other world. Or, I can't find them as easily. There's one up there, actually. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, man, this game is a blast to play. And I'm so excited to like just continue on and do more and more as time goes on. 
because this game is just it's just so enjoyable to play and uh, I don't know it's it's a great game for like to relax playing and it's a great game to just play in general okay I gotta find a way up here but I hope you guys enjoyed the video check back tomorrow I'm gonna be putting one out for like, every day for a while uh, because the game just came out and obviously that makes this, this is a slug right here underneath the water or is that just the way it looks? I think that's just the way it looks. Darn it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.